Uh, hey guys, so um, as you can probably tell by now, I am not very good at keeping promises like the one I made last video about uploading daily and that's probably because I was being way too unrealistic with myself because I am a lazy fucking person, but I guess maybe once every other day seems more realistic, so hopefully we'll hit that. And yeah, so anyways, I guess today I wanted to talk about my opinion on jobs and specifically uh, what I think about the average job and whether as a need I think it's good to be employed or not. And, um, you know, maybe what my plans are for the future as far as getting employed goes. And yeah, so starting out with what I think about jobs. Um, I think that, um, I don't think it's necessarily bad to have a job, but I don't think that you should get a job just because society is being pressure is pressuring you into getting one or if it's not necessary. And I know that for a lot of people, they don't necessarily have, they don't necessarily have the luxury of, I guess, having parents like mine or, you know, I guess being in my situation because let's face it, I am in a lot of ways a pretty lucky mother effer. Nice, I did swear. But um, yeah, I'm a very lucky mother effer, but I know that there's a lot of people out there who just, um, don't have the opportunity to, uh, I guess, stay neat. And for those people, I'm obviously not gonna shame them for being a wagey because, well, that would be kind of a dick move to do. And I really do feel bad for the fact that they have to wage. If anything, I see jobs as sort of a necessary evil. Like, if you really have no other option out there, um, Oh God, sorry, it's, um, I'm pretty sleep deprived. So if my Tourette's start to pop up, uh, please don't mind them. I'm really trying hard to suppress them right now, but they're gonna fucking pop up like that. But anyways, hope it didn't scare me, anybody away from my channel, but yeah, so fuck. Uh, yeah, um, so back to what I was saying. Yeah, I feel like it's a necessary evil and that yeah, if you have no other choice, then, I mean, yeah, um, then I guess I'd say that hopefully pick something that causes you the least amount of pain. Because let's face it, 99% of jobs out there are pretty soul crushing and mind numbing and repetitive and not conducive to any sort of... Um, self-development i guess if that's even important in this world sometimes i don't really know anymore but you know i guess things that are mentally stimulating and that have a lot of room for improvement i guess might be more fulfilling as a job but when it comes to things that make up the typical wagey job like i don't know packing stuff into boxes in some amazon warehouse which, by the way, I've read horror stories about how that is just completely detrimental to your body and how they just treat you like a machine, but that's besides the point. Stuff like that, or the yeah, average like office data entry job, there's only so much room for improvement. And outside of that, if, I let's say you work a data entry job and you manage to um, work your way up to typing I don't know, like 90 words per per minute, right? I don't know if that's considered fast or not, but let's just say it is. So if you're typing 90 words per minute, then, you know, that's pretty fast, I guess, but you're probably gonna hit that maybe within three months of working there because you're basically doing the same shit over, over and over again. And that's um, maybe not take into account the fact that, well, maybe you're just bored out of your mind. You're probably surfing Reddit all day on the neat, on the neat subreddit, wishing you were a neat, a glorious ascended neat. But yeah, um, so 
if you're really, let's say you treat this job as if it's the most fulfilling, it's like you're taken out of, I don't know, whatever meaninglessness in life and you pursue this to the utmost, then eventually you're just going to hit this roadblock where you basically reach your maximum genetic epigenetic potential, which is like basically your genetics and then plus the hard work you put into yourself, like that potential. So you basically reach that potential and then what else can you do then? You're basically just stuck doing the same thing, typing at 90, 91 words per minute. And then you're just doing that and then life loses all meaning. You probably become suicidal. Your back hurts from sitting down in a chair all day in the office. And yeah, then I don't know. Then you're basically just screwed, I guess. Like you become suicidal or you just eventually say F it all and you quit your job and you become neat or I don't know, hopefully you don't rope because that's pretty messed up. But yeah, um, I don't really know where I was going with that, but I guess I was trying to talk about how messed up, you know, the average wagey job is. And, you know, I guess, although not exactly the same, I think it's pretty similar for like warehouse jobs, retail jobs, jobs at Subway. And they want, and I guess employers, they want you to glorify they want to glorify it as sort of work experience because maybe you'll get a better job at a more prestigious company that will pay you one or two dollars more per hour but doing the exact same shit and you get a um i, I guess brag about it in your resume as some, as a sort of work experience work skill but what is it really like you're they're basically i don't know making you engage in mental gymnastics to I guess cope with the fact or rationalize the fact that you're basically just some cog, some cog in a machine no different from most needs by the way who basically are just like these these rats pressing levers for dopamine when they watch video games i mean what the fuck am i talking about when they play video games or watch like hentai and and read manga and, and i guess watch anime too but they're not watching hentai but other than that they're pretty much the same except the, for the fact that the neat is enjoying himself so i guess if you're neat and you're not in the position to have to do those types of jobs then I, i'd say maybe it's better to stay neat and at least do that as long as you can before you have to go out into the world and live a miserable wagey existence which i will probably have to do one day but i guess for the meantime i'd hopefully like to enjoy this privilege that i have of being neat because let's face it there's no point in living up to the expectations of society when society probably doesn't give a shit about you when most people see you as a cog in a machine and that's if you're not weird like me and because if you're weird like me they they see you as lower than dirt they see you like a as a fucking cockroach to be stepped all over to be excluded from everyday interactions because you know maybe waging would be bearable if i wasn't so autistic and spurg like and had crippling social anxiety but because of that it just makes waging exponentially harder but you know I guess I had to play devil's advocate and you know part of me also believes this but I feel that waging at the same time you know might be a ticket out of my needum in the sense that it pretty much is the only way to meet new people at my age when you're not in school or I guess education waging takes the place of education as far as where you will tend to meet most of your I guess friend group assuming that you're a normal person. So I guess if you're a normal person, maybe it might be better not to be neat. Although I doubt most, I doubt most needs are normal because I feel like most of us have some sort of crippling mental illness or disability or something that really makes it hard to interact with people. But yeah, so I think that, um, I guess maybe I'm potentially open to the idea of doing a, a part-time job because I feel like that would, wouldn't would take up all my time and it would give me a lot of time to, I guess, cope and maybe recuperate from the brutality 
of the wagey cagey world so that I won't ragey and blow my brains out. Well, that's if guns were legal where I live. Oops, I dox, my, I dox myself. Holy shit, I'm fucking corny. But yeah, so um, I don't know. I really hope my parents don't hear this, but I think they're upstairs still asleep. Um, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much the only reason I would see to get a job is, you know, not to work for the sake of working. I mean, that's pretty much the whole point of this video, I feel, is that my opinion about jobs is to not just work for the sake of working or work because you feel like people are going to shame you and um, I guess look down on you for not having a job. Although I guess if they're really giving you a hard time, then maybe, but I think it's best just to ignore them and to enjoy the precious time that you have on this earth because I mean, let's face it, like if you're not, cause I guess people might argue, um, oh, you're gonna, Get a girlfriend if you have a job. Just just work a just work a sop fuck. <laughs> just just work a job at Subway, bro, and you'll get a girlfriend. <laughs> like, I mean, that's kind of bullshit. Like, maybe there's like a one in fifty thousand chance of that happening, but I mean, it's pretty unlikely. And she's probably gonna treat you like shit and leave you for another guy for a whole host of reasons which i'm probably not going to get into detail in in this video but yeah anyways um what else do i have to say about jobs um well yeah i guess i think that's maybe one good reason to get a job is to maybe do it if you have the intention of maybe practicing your social skills and giving you know, maybe life one final push before you give up. And I think that's maybe what I'm going to do in the future, but I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking about it. And, but otherwise, you know, if you tried all that stuff and it didn't work out, um, then I feel like there's no need to get a job necessarily to work for the sake of working. I mean, if you can, I feel like if anything, a job is a necessary evil as far as survival goes and well if you don't have to partake in that necessary evil to survive then i think that yeah a job is unfortunately a, unfortunately a tragedy that most people have to go to just to survive on this earth and i really don't see any of the merit that a lot of people like boomers, for example, claim that jobs will, you know, I guess do for you like, oh, you'll find the love of your life. Oh, it's work experience. You have something put on your resume. Oh, you'll find something meaningful to do with your life. Then play video games like really like fucking putting half rotting lettuce in a cardboard yoga mat subway bun is more fulfilling than playing video games, becoming good at Smash Bros, or I don't know, getting headshots. I'm, I'd say they're about the same, if not, you know, less, but you know, what do I know? I pretty much have a non-existent working history. Like maybe I've worked, I've quote unquote worked a few jobs, but you could probably not call it that at all. Like. I basically have not ever been employed in my life. I'll probably make a kind of shit post video titled my work history exposed or something, but it's going to be, you'll quickly realize that I'm pretty much like fucking neat. I guess my whole life, apart from the times I wasn't in university and that I'm pretty much unemployable, I guess maybe given what happened in the stories, I'll tell about that. But anyways, yeah, um, I think that's my, that pretty much sums up my current stance on employ unemployment and jobs. If my, I don't know, if I become YouTube famous and uh, I don't know, potential employers 
uh, end up watching this video or finding out about it and I get logged into some employer database, uh, I'm pretty much guaranteed to be unemployable for the rest of my life. And, you know, maybe that's not such a great thing when I'll eventually have to wage just to survive and I'll eventually have to become homeless because I made this stupid video. But, you know, got to do it for YouTube, I guess. Got to do it for the YouTube club. Got to do it for my fans, for my devoted and loyal fans. What am I even saying? Um, yeah, anyways, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, you know, I feel like I'm kind of talking more fluently and maybe it's because I'm making a video much closer to, I'm making videos more in proximity of each other, which I guess maybe helps me keep my speaking skills scar. Well, clearly not. Helps me keep my speaking skills sharp. Yes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy that video and um, any, yeah, uh, probably gonna upload this and I don't know, go to bed or something, make some music. Anyways, peace out. Wow, I'm fucking corny right now. Bye.